guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are having our fifth episode of Champion Star with Garima Bangar, and this video is particularly important for those who are preparing for GATE. And those who don't know what GATE is, it's Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering, and it is basically taken to take admission in M Tech or PhDs at IIT. And I myself have GATE AR92 in GATE Chemistry, but today's video it's not about me. It's about Rohit who has banged an impressive rank of AR15. He hit CSC 2024. We would be diving deep into his journey today. So I have divided this video into two parts. So in the first part, I will talk about the preparation of GATE, how he prepared, uh, the things he followed, and second is like life of MTech student at IIT. So if you are a GATE student, please pause this video right now. Take a notebook and a pen because this video is really important for you guys. And now let's get started. So welcome to it to our channel. So let's start from the beginning. So how did your journey started? Where did you have done your BTEC? Everything. Uh, I pursued my BTEC from Triple Two Mutual in the Okay. Yeah, and then I did the GATE exam. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done beef uh, internship, and then I was here. I got the okay. So. When did you start preparing for GATE? My preparation, uh, I would say, started in the first week of January. Uh, I mean, approximately a month before the GATE exam. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty late, I guess. Yeah, I would. I say it, it's pretty late. Uh, yeah, but somehow things were fell in place. Okay. Things like. I think it's not about like you have. Less time. It's about how dedicatedly, yeah, yeah. You just dive into it. Yeah. If you just go like full yeah, heartedly, uh, you can do it in one. Uh, time. that's true because uh, I see people who have been struggling for three years and but uh, still, right. still they feel themselves to be disappointed. But uh, apart from that, I feel it is not. It is about how well you are. Uh, with your basics, right. the command you have over the subjects is pretty much important. Mm -hmm. If you if you pursue your B Tech with full enthusiasm, if you uh, focus on the concepts, mm -hmm. I think mean, gate just follows because mm, it's pretty much uh, what you study over the right. course of four years. That's been asked. So for someone who has not taken his B Tech seriously till now, what is the ideal timeline? How before gate? How much time he needs before gate? I mean, somewhere between three to four months, maybe okay. five months if you feel so. But I guess that's enough. I mean. Okay. Any particular resources you followed? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I do not feel myself to be worthy enough mm -hmm. to comment on this because uh, I did not follow any particular resource. Uh, the 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 notes that I made during my VTEC, that would be the only resources that I had available at me. Okay. And, the, in, and in the interest of time, I just went over them, right, and right. skipped over them and then I just gave these. Okay. Before moving forward, if you are someone who is preparing for K 2026 or 2027, then all batches of PWR at discounted prices up. Screen pe check kar sakte hain. Sabhi pe discount chal hai. You can enroll in them. You can also experience infinity learning with batch infinity of PW, which you get in Gate Khazana, PYQ books, and much more. If four features ki baat in batches, ki, to lecture planner and test planner will be uploaded in the batch notice session. Classes up ki rahengi, Monday se Friday, regular tests, doubt engines, PYQs, and quiz format with video solutions for relevant subjects. You can also buy PW books, which contains topic by set of questions from past 16 years, so that you can easily. Your preparation in short PW has got you covered with its batches. Use my code GARMA500 to get additional 500 discount. And now let's continue with our interview. But still, uh, any common mistakes uh, you want to suggest to them? They are doing, and you want to just tell. I mean, two things are they, they form the basis of how well your preparation can be. First is the amount of revision that you do. I mean, there are. What happens is you get done with one of the subjects and then you keep it aside. And then uh, a month later you feel that you're not fresh enough to attend questions on that. So uh, revising, you know, forms the basis. You need to revise it bi-weekly or monthly, whatever uh, suits you. But when the concepts are fresh, uh, whenever a new question comes, you can approach it in a very interesting manner. 
as compared to, you know, if you're not a fresh IT concept, you approach the traditional way. Okay. So, uh, second thing what I feel is, uh, people underestimate the power of PY teams, if you say questions, right. they, they give you an insight on the lines on which questions may be asked, mm, or the question concepts which can be more uh, you know, important uh, as compared to other ones. Uh, so, and it also helps you identify your weaknesses, the weak things. So, for example, someone might struggle with questions on one topic. So, he can go back, uh, you know, approach those uh, that topic with with the reference of what questions might be asked. And okay. that's how you can you know, improve. I think some students uh, do the mistake of consuming too much resources. Like yeah. Information overload. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just uh, go here, go there, they, right. they'll subscribe to three to four courses, they'll, right, right. they'll also attempt. Yeah. yeah just Whatever. follow one course by heartedly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Did you give mock tests? Uh, for me, because I didn't have enough time, mm -hmm. I was not able to attempt enough mock questions. Uh, I, I, had, I had maybe given a one. I, Give two ideas more questions, okay. uh, more mm -hmm. But yes. Get the gist of the how exam would feel. Yeah. Okay. But Great. but I feel more questions, more question papers, they are important. One more thing uh, that I feel is important is uh, how well you manage yourself uh, in the last one week just before the exam. The mindset that you have in that time reflects in your exam and performance. Because uh, you need to be absolutely calm in that thing. Right. If you if you are anxious, if you study uh, even in, in that last one week, you know it, it takes a toll on you. It uh, takes a toll on, on your mentality. So you need to be absolutely calm in that phase. You you can choose even not to study during that time. Go out, uh, you know, meet uh, meet your friends. You even sit down and watch movies if you feel if you must. Just revise the concepts and be, be there because yeah. how the amount of calm that you show in your exam that will surely be reflected in your exam. Any advice you would want to give to the students for the next year? Uh, for anyone who's targeting gate exam in 2026, maybe they have enough time about a uh, year. Right. Yeah. So, it's enough time I feel, you, you just, you, currently you just need to identify your weakness, the subjects that you are not confident enough in, uh, get back to the basics, revise them, uh, make notes, uh, attempt some questions. You, you can be done with this in another 3-4 months and then, uh, then take up one of, one of the subjects one by one, attempt uh, previous questions, attempt more questions, revise and start with then, but be, be thorough with your concepts before you start with your questions. Now let's talk about IIT Bombay and Tech Life. So how is how does an average day of the MTech student looks like here? You know, as structured as it was when I was preparing for it, uh, this life here is as unstructured as it could be. I mean, it's completely haphazard. There are days when I'm when I'm caught up with lectures. Well, there are days when there are no lectures, and I'll I'm in the lab the whole day. There are days when I sleep pretty much early. You know, I sleep by one. Mm -hmm. But there are days like today I went to sleep at eight a.m. or so eight a.m. Okay. early. Yeah. So, so the life here is completely haphazard. You need to go with it. You need to not just go with the flow. You need to adapt to it. And I think life here is is pretty much about it. It's pretty much about uncertainty and. Uh, this degree teaches you time management to a large extent and it becomes crucial uh, how well you manage time, how well you manage various aspects. I'm not saying it's completely steady, it's not all steady and no joy. There are, there are days when I, you know, when I'm not able to be so productive uh, and I would say I take out time through these days and go out with friends. There are, Rather nights, nice. there are there have been many nights when I just leave the campus at what say twelve and then come back early morning six and we're there exploring the yeah, yeah. Mumbai life. Mumbai life, Mumbai night life, life. <laughs> night life, yeah. So there are pretty much events every damn day here. So yeah, you, right. you can you can explore anything 
any day you feel you're not in the zone, just get out. Uh, and you'll find some other event happening, some right. workshop happening, some cultural event happening and just go, go inside and you know be a part of it. So that is one thing that I feel is really nice that you you also get to know such vast uh, domain of knowledge. You, you explore so such a huge wealth of knowledge that और क्या करना चाहता है and tech plus ms in general for it so i feel that there are two uh, there are two types of degrees where there is a two year program there is a three year program and i feel that the two year program is pretty crunched up and and it gets it gets to your nerves it, it, it takes a test so means you you have to go on with the course work you have to also manage the research work and you have to prepare for placement and set so for placement so yeah the two year degree uh, does not allow you enough time to you know be that active but you can still try to find something but yeah I, the people in 3 year degree here um, they are able to you know enjoy that as well right. as well yeah. so uh, rohit uh, you also had a chance i guess you have year 15 mm-hmm. so you must be having the chance to join some psc yeah. so how someone is going juggling to decide that whether to take a job and then and then in foreign so how someone should decide if he or she is going to be so as far as i am concerned uh emtech was something that i wanted for myself because you know that uh, that thirst for knowledge right. that that gets quenched here is it <laughs> um, you join a psu you will start working and it gets monotonous and that is not something for me at that this point in life so so i wanted to be at an institute where i can you know explore new horizons you know i can delve deep into one of the aspects of the industry so it was knowledge like you want knowledge not a monotonous yeah, yeah 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 uh, for someone who is like between ms like abroad uh ms abroad see i feel that uh, that is also a very a compelling option but uh, these institutes here itself that they provide you pretty much everything right that except the fact that they are in india and to be honest uh, i don't know is something that's hold now um uh, yeah, right. i don't think any student who, who started engineering preparation in class what say 5 6 11 10 whatsoever it might be i do want it must be a dream it's a dream come true when you are here right. so what else would someone think about this part of the okay great so what is the placement scenarios for mtech students here placement scenario is great you know you work hard you get is it's there's no you know question about it so when you are here and you are here for 2 years It, it it leaves a print on you it, it leaves a mark on you and placement is it just follows okay so what is the average package for an placement here uh in the case which is still going on uh, so the official details are not out yet so okay. but they will be out on the website i guess okay. so my last question was that is it really worth it to do and take but i think i got my answer yeah. from your last question it's pretty clear it's yeah. everything you ever wished for me it is okay for me it is that's it for today and sure thank you for your time i hope you get a really good place right uh, sure fingers crossed fingers crossed okay thank you and uh, thanks to you as well i mean you took up time and you know had we had a good chat okay thanks so much so that's it for today guys if you like this interview then do subscribe the channel like the video share it with your friends see you in the next video bye bye